The next thing I want to do is get these elements to have some vertical consistency. Namely, I'd like each tile to be the same height, but not only that, I'm thinking that um, the video should start at around at exactly the same place and and the PRE content down here has to be the, the last thing at the bottom. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that with, with the height attribute, but not just the plain height attribute. I'm going to do minimum height. So in case there's some extra content that falls down there, it'll have some flexibility. Um, but I don't have to go crazy with that flexibility because um, there are constraints to this content. Since I'm going to be theoretically pulling this content from YouTube, YouTube has a maximum title length. It has a maximum description length you could put in there, and that includes the code snippet. So fortunately in this implementation, although I want to be flexible, it's not that you know one of these things could be as short as a sentence or as long as a novel. There are constraints to it. So um, with minimum height, I'll be able to put some constraints on the on the design while also allowing for some limited flexibility. So uh, let's get right to it. First order of business is I want this each one of these titles to sort of be like a tab and to be the same distance or the same height so that the video starts at a certain point consistently uh, in the design. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start by targeting well the H3 which I actually already have over here and I'm going to set it to be min height so minimum height and all of these guys so far are about two rows so if you think that each of uh, the line height is probably a little bit more than the actual size of the font so it's probably a bit more than one EM uh, I'm going to set it for the min height to be 2.5 EM because in case I change the font size this relative uh, value over here could accommodate that change so here I am and Viola I have this little tab up here starting at the same place so that I like very cool um, but now we have a, another issue what about where the PRE starts you see how now my PRE is kind of starting at a different height because the the content, the paragraph content is of a different length. So let me do the same thing to the paragraph content. I'm going to define a minimum height and let's see what our longest line is. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and these things I think are about, this is obviously more than uh, one uh, one em line height five so maybe a set a safe bet would be something like uh, minimum line height of of eight let's see what that looks like we'll just kinda give a guess and tweak it later okay that's cool so even on one of our longest descriptions over here we still have a little bit of breathing room in between the the white and the black of the pre um, so that's a good value. Finally, let's actually consider the pre itself. Now you see that um, although this code over here spans all the way down to the bottom, um, this over here doesn't. But we'd like it to be, again, consistent regardless of the code. So what do we have? Six lines over here. That's about what we have with the paragraph. So why don't we use that exact min height on that uh, that pretty print content, pop that in, and cool. Look at that. The one that has the shortest amount of code snippet is now consistent, and it puts just a, some extra black down at the bottom, which looks pretty cool. Um, I like this. I wonder. The one thing I'm also considering is if this PRE is going too far down and that's why it's just so f 
close to the well just right up against the top of the other one um, part of me is thinking I could either try to add some padding top to the entire column to push it down um, some margin top to the entire column to push it down or maybe I need to kind of pull the PRE up a little bit so let's just give that uh, a try let's go margin top and let's do negative I don't know, let's do negative 20 pixels. Uh, that's not necessarily the value I'm going to be using. I just want to see what that does. Um, well, that sort of brings everything with it now, doesn't it? Let's just make sure that that's the case. Is that kind of stuck to it? Yeah, so, okay, so it's not the pre. We know that putting margin top is not it. Then let's uh, let's just see if we could add a little margin Let's put margin bottom to the column. That way, like I said, just a little breathing room. And I know that, or maybe 20 pixels. Yeah, 20 pixels is what we need because that'll keep it consistent with our other gutters. So now we have tw uh, 20, 20 pixels because it's 10, 10 and 10 on each side of these that, that are separating them. Now the vertical separation is consistent with 20 pixels.